Hi there, I'm Bill Warner with Entredot. Hey, over the last couple of weeks, we've talked a lot about doing online business meetings. And we're learning a lot about it, but there are lots of good platforms. Whichever one you choose, there's ways to do this. So what I thought I'd do is go through some typical best practices. So first is, you, you gotta be prepared for this. Uh, you just can't walk into a, an online meeting and never having done it before. You're going to have to have a little practice, but it doesn't take much at all. If you're going to run a meeting, uh, have an agenda. Uh, have, it, have it distributed to your participants for your business meeting. That, sh that basically shows the start and end time, of course, but basically what you're going to cover and the amount of time you'll, you want to spend on each one, one of the items. Uh, so t time control and agenda control is a little bit more important. Uh, in an online meeting. Of course, you want to do this in any meeting. In fact, most of what I'm going to talk about applies to about any meeting you, you want to have. But uh, since we're distant from each other, uh, it's a little bit more important to have some discipline. So the next tip is uh, don't bring uninvited guests. Oh, surprise, Susie's here, uh, and nobody knows Susie. Uh, that will tamp down the openness of the meeting. And the biggie is get trained on actually how to use this machinery here in front of me. Um, before you try to take on a, an online meeting, make sure your video works. Make sure you've got yourself centered in the camera. I try to reduce the clutter in the room. Make sure your mic works, of course. Um, I see other people joining meetings that are fumbling around trying to figure out how to get their mic to, to turn on. Um, Learn the, learn the settings on your computer and within the platform you're on for the control of the mic, for, uh, for volume, uh, also for sound, for hearing. Make sure that your volume is up uh, as well uh, for, for you to hear uh, via whatever speaker device. But whatever you're using, learn the facilities. Chat is an important one. Know how to use chat. It's a way to talk to people within the meeting and do it privately in some, some cases. Learn how to share screen because often people have to show a document or a picture or something. These are all little simple tools. I'm on Zoom. All of these are right in front of me. Quite frankly, you'll learn how to use Zoom and probably most of these other platforms in 20, 30 minutes and practice with a business associate. The other is um, often your name automatically shows up in a bottom of the screen. Make sure it's your name and not your user ID or some you know, maybe inappropriate name, a nickname you like to go by. Um, particularly important if you've got guests in your meeting and have no clue what uh, an acronym means in the name field. Use your real name. In conducting the meeting, be on time. Uh, show up a little early. Start and end on time, in other words. Dress the part. So I Got a reasonably good shirt on and comb my hair, so dress the part. During the meeting, pay attention. Be in the meeting. Don't be there looking over here on your phone and, and texting. Uh, pay attention. Make sure that people that are speaking can, who see you know that you're paying attention, you're in, their, in, their, in the meeting. Don't interrupt people. Wait your turn to speak. Be concise when you do. This is a medium that, that encourages conciseness. Set enough time during this meeting for Q&A so that in your agenda there's time for interaction and you actively call on people. And again, these rules are the same for if you're sitting in a conference room. But w when you're so distanced from each other, the, the protocol for having a good meeting has to have a lot more discipline in it. That's what I think. Have great meetings. Uh, we're going to do, be doing this a while longer, and quite frankly, I think this will become a habit for you. Have a great day. I'm Bill Warner with Entredot.